Ever since the detention of the two women, uh, Siti Aisha from Indonesia and Duan Ti Huang uh, from Vietnam, uh, a lot of people have the perception that they were manipulated uh, into actually committing the crime. Uh, because we all know the, the, the backstory that uh, these two, in their defense, they said that they were told that they were, they were a part of a, a, a reality prank show. Uh, and hence, uh, it was a prank. So, so that has been their defense uh, ever since. In fact, the last uh, appearance they had in court uh, their defense counsel even actually uh, presented the fact that uh, they claim that there is no common intention uh, between the two accused. So that was what has been the latest uh, discussion. What about the impact on uh, the relationship between North Korea and Malaysia? There was a lot of tension at the time. Uh, has that dissipated at all? Well, we do know that when, when the when the murder happened, uh, when the crime happened, uh, tensions was at its height. Uh, in fact, even the ambassador of North Korea in Malaysia was told to go back to his country. Uh, and, and we had diplomats, Malaysian diplomats, who were in the embassy in North Korea who were held under detention. Well, they, they, were, they were controlled from leaving the, uh, from leaving the country. Uh, but over time, uh, I think the tension has dissipated. In fact, uh, Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Muhammad has also said, has also stated that uh, the em embassy in Pyongyang uh, might be reopened soon. Uh, and even among the general public, the tension and, and the talk about North Korea has also dissipated and uh, it has calmed down, yes. In terms of the actual decision uh, against uh, the charges against these two women, what is the timeline uh, from the court? Are we going to get a decision today? And uh, if these women are found not to be behind uh, this attack, uh, do we know any more about who could have been responsible? Well, right now, the decision, they can, the decision can be made today. That's what is expected. Uh, they've been saying that if the women are found uh, not involved, then they will be acquitted. Uh, if not, then they will have to claim trial and the trial will continue. Uh, we don't know that there have been uh, several uh, suspects, North Korean suspects, uh, who have actually fled Malaysia, uh, even left, uh, even allowed to leave Malaysia uh, when investigations were at its height, uh, when it just happened. Uh, but yes, the, the, the few suspects that are North Korean, they have remained suspects, uh, they, have been, they have remained important people in the investigations. It's just that uh, the prosecution has had no access to them.